Hello lovelies, thanks for stopping by. My name is Teresa Metica. You're welcome to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how to store your tomato paste without refrigerating yes so if you're in nigeria i know you're going to love this video because we all know our light situation in our country and this video is for you so storing your tomato without refrigerating for three to six months yes without losing its taste and freshness very easy method so the thing here and what i'm doing here is to wash my tomato so this is a reminder for you to go and get tomato like it's going to be rainy season and we all know that during rainy season there is usually no tomato if you see tomato it's going to be very very pricey so this is a reminder for you to go and get your tomato and try out this method You're like when people are saying that oh tomato is so expensive like you'll be chilling you're making your sauce with fresh tomato you're making everything that you want to do with tomato or you're making it with tomato you don't have to worry about nothing because you have preserved your tomato in this method and like i said it's going to still remain as fresh so i'm just going to just wash up my tomato i'm washing it from the second time because of death in the tomato so i got to learn about this method from the knots i stayed in the knots for a couple of years <laughs> like my childhood i spent my childhood in the knots in just oh my god that place is very very beautiful so in this video too i'm going to show you parts of just just a glimpse of what just looks like some of the things that you can get from just that are so unbelievable and very very nice so and also during the raisin season the type of tomato that you find is not this type of tomato like it's so different that type of tomato usually annoys me like it's just filled with water it has no taste at all the color is just not it so this is a reminder like i'm telling you right now it just feels like i'm just talking and talking can't get tomato but i'm serious so when the rainy season period has in full and there is scarcity of tomato you're going to remember that i told you to go and get tomato right now because very soon <laughs> you will not even find tomato at all this is not even my type of tomato i told someone to go and get tomato for me and this was what she got i told her the specification of the type of tomato i want i love those very big tomato to looks very very inviting and she went and she did her heart desire but this type of tomato is also good but in rainy season you won't find this type of tomato it's going to be the one that is just filled with water i don't even know how um in just i don't even see that type of tomato like i've never seen such type of tomato in just until when i came to lagos i was wondering what is this type of tomato is just filled with water there's no taste so if you are in lagos or in any other place that usually don't have tomato like in the north go and get tomato right now so i also like the tomato also it has less um juice or water in it it's very sweet like it is very nice though because i actually complained i was the lady that helped me to get this i was on her neck like i was telling her i told you to get a specific type of tomato and this is what she came up with like this is what she came with i did but you know my apologies to her like this tomato is really nice so what i'm just doing here is just to cut my tomato i remove the black heads from the tomato just to cut the tomato for my blender to blend this with ease without is giving it much headache so if you've lived in the north especially jaws please just holler at me at the comment section like what do you feel or you visited jaws before what do you feel about jaws like jaws is very beautiful oh my god and sometimes i wish i could just spend my vacation in jaws so let me just move to the video so i'm just going to add onions to my tomato this is optional though you can just go with just the flow of tomato so adding my 
I'm adding onions and tartare because I want the tomatoes to be red. So you can add pepper as well, but I'm not adding pepper in this because I don't understand the pepper this season. Maybe it's just me. Like I feel the pepper this season is not even hot. Like I bought there's one time I went to buy tomato. I bought tomato for like um a thousand naira and i bought pepper for 500 naira i'm not really a huge fan of spicy food but i was cooking for someone and she said she wanted something spicy so i had to get that ratio of tomato and pepper that way and guess what it wasn't even hot at all like i was just wondering but it was complaining i told you to get i want this food to be spicy i was like i did but you know tomato is not hot the pepper is not hot i mean so that's why i'm skipping the pepper like mm -mm. i'm going to get um yellow pepper because i'm a huge fan of yellow pepper so i'm going to be using yellow pepper when i want to cook my food so that's why i'm not including pepper to this mix so you can add pepper you can add garlic you can add ginger if you're a fan of this but i'm not doing that so just blend this onto smooth that's if you want it to make it to be smooth you can also blend this roughly that's if this is the vibe you are going with so this is my vibe i'm going for smooth though i blended some part of this tomato roughly so because i want to store some of the tomato in a rough form and then some in a smooth form so whatever vibe you want to go you're good to go so as our tomato is blending so let me just show you a glimpse of just so just look at the weather alone like i don't know i deleted some of these videos that i did like it's so painful just look at the weather just look at my skin this girl is vibing like look at just so beautiful look at the tree like it's giving fresh bread so please it just and this is a chicken i got this chicken for eight thousand naira, a full chicken and this is strawberry the strawberry in just is different from the strawberry in lagos it's not as sour as the strawberry in lagos and guess what that strawberry that i just showed you was 350 naira not joking 350 naira like this whole was 700 i've even eaten a lot before i even made this video this was 700 that's like two plates of the previous video i just showed you and then this is spring onions where in lagos can you find spring onions that still has onions in it never and this is Irish potato i got this Irish potato for two five and in lagos then it was four thousand naira like and this is lettuce like where will you get lettuce this fresh and this lettuce cost 100 naira and my mom was even complaining that it was even expensive because it was even the season of lettuce but it was 100 naira so let's go back to our video so after blending the tomato just pour it into a pot and then we are going to boil it so you could boil this until your tomato dries up completely there is no residual of water in there so please be careful <laughs> because something happened to me you know in my mind like and i thought that tomato is going to take a longer time for it to dry and guess what i slept and this whole tomato got burnt like there was nothing there was no there was nothing that i could even salvage out of it because i just slept up i just woke up and i was just perceiving like i'm making am i making um party jello fries like why is yes many like something is burnt and i came out and i saw burnt offering so do not think that tomato is going to take so much time for it to cook it doesn't take as much time as you, you know how we have in our back of our head because that's what i did like you know in my mind like this is going to take so much time like in two hours and it got burnt i was so happy that this batch didn't get burnt but the other batch that you know wanted to save more got burnt so i'm going to see do this process all over again with other batch of tomato so what we how we're going to save our tomato is with our glass jars you know glass jars preserve preserve stuff better than any other um vessel so put your tomato into a glass jar not any other glass not any other jars but the glass one you can get this glass jar everywhere i got this in lagos someone helped me i don't know where she got it but just go to the market ask any market woman they will definitely show you where you can get this glass jar i got 10 for like um two eight yeah but 
not expensive at all just pull fill your tomato into the glass jar and then we move to the next process if you're enjoying this video do not forget to hit on the like button comment so if you haven't subscribed why do click on the subscribe button it is free of charge share this video like i said this is a time to save your tomato for storage so share this video tell your friends tell your family tell your loved ones it is time to save up your tomato and this video is going to help them in having fresh tomato all season without worrying about the scarcity of tomato so what i just did here is i fully put my tomato into the glass jar and make sure you seal up your tomato properly like let it be properly covered ensure that you cover it i cannot emphasize this enough please make sure it is properly covered and then we move to the next step do also check my previous videos like i have a lot of amazing stuff that you're going to enjoy like deliciousness like you saw when i was showing you the preview of my channel so you know that it is filled with a lot of goodness so let's move to the next step so yeah we have a large pot filled with water like not filled with water like you know there's enough water into it so just pour just put your tomato jars into this pot of water and leave this to cook for an hour 30 minutes so this is how we are going to preserve this so very important uh to boil this for an hour 30 minutes this is what is going to make your tomato last for that three to six months without it losing its taste without any mold or anything being it's going to be as fresh as you've kept it like this as fresh as it is now it's going to be as fresh that's how it's going to be as fresh until three to six months or any other time that you want to use your tomato this is it just ensure that the water you added to the pot is enough to cook this tomato without getting dry for an hour to 30 minutes because if you try to add more water to this it might break the bottle so just add enough water that can cook this for an hour 30 minutes so at interval just turn the glass jar so that every part of it you know the bottom the side every part will properly you know cook or properly boil because you're not cooking it properly boil so that is just it just as interval just you know flip the jar so that every part of the jar can boil up So the tomato has been boiling for an hour 30 minutes and it's time for me to bring it down and just 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 it so there's no way to show that oh i've actually boiled this enough just boil it for an hour 30 minutes and you are good to go and this is what will make your tomatoes so um preserve its freshness and remain intact the way that you've boiled it for three to six months without it losing its taste and flavor so the way i took out the jar from the fire was so hot that thing was very hot like i don't even know what i was thinking about i think i was forming like oh this is what i usually do in a normal day and it was very hot so i had to look for a tour to take this out from the fire because it is very very hot so it amazes me that Lugosians don't even do this method. Like they don't even preserve the tomato. This what's so, like? How do you preserve your tomato? Like people don't even have tomato. Is that water tomato that you have? And that's like the most annoying tomato species that I've ever set my eyes on. Very annoying. So Lugosians, save your store your tomato this way, and you won't regret it. I promise you. Like this is going to still remain as fresh 
as it is right now for three to six months i cannot even emphasize this enough go and get your tomato now right now is the time for you to go and get your tomato go and get your tomato boil it up and save it like this and you'll save yourself a lot of stress a lot of money let the tomato cool down and store it in a cool dry place and that's just it like that's it and you're good to go and if you're going to scoop out of this tomato and you want to use the whole food jar just cover it back and boil it in the water for 30 minutes to an hour and it will still remain fresh yes i promise you just scoop it out put it back on the water pour it and boil it just ensure that you cover this very well and you are good to go so i boiled up this one for a month now and you can see it stay as fresh as the way that i have boiled it there's no mold there's no nothing it stay intact so do the same method and you're still going to have your tomato lasts you for three to six months which as it's going bad there will be no mold in it and it will still have its original taste if you've enjoyed this video do not forget to hit on the like button comment below i would love to hear from you turn on your notifications to get notified of when i drop new videos thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you on the other flip side bye for now lots of love lots of kisses mm -hmm.